What is up DTube Steam Blockchain? So today I want to talk a little bit quick about my first impressions on the MacBook Pro 16 inch model because I got it yesterday. So I bought it this uh, week. It's the 2900 euro model Core i7 uh, AMD Radeon 5300M graphics 4 gigabytes 16 gigs RAM 512 gigs SSD It's just a lot of stuff going on there, right? So my first impressions, I mean, the first reason why I upgraded was because well, I was sitting on the, um, uh, I was using the early 2015 MacBook Pro that I bought around uh, mid-2016 for around 1500 euros. And I got so much value out from that device. It's still working pretty decent, but the, <laughs> the battery is so bad now, so I always need to plug in the cable. I always need to have it plugged in. Uh, and now it's because the internet is turning more into graphics, GIFs and memes. You want something that can process that a little bit more. And I started to know that there's a little bit of sluggish slowdown on my early 2015 MacBook Pro. Even though it can still perform pretty well. So I thought, okay, why not just go with the new MacBook Pro and max it out a little bit. And we had this 16 inch MacBook Pro for 2900 euros. I think it came out uh, December 2019. So it's barely six months old and first I was considering buying maybe 15 inch model or 13 inch model but then I was like well I got so much value from this uh, from this uh, 1500 euro 2015 MacBook Pro so why not max it out a little bit why not go with the 50 why not go with the 16 inch MacBook Pro 3000 euros around. And I mean, I gotta say, there's some amazing things here. Start of all, first the sound, the the speakers is so good. I mean, they're so impressive. Uh, oh my god! Uh, and I, I love how the base storage is 512 gigs SSD I instead of 256. Uh, you what else? Oh yeah, the new keyboard. The they have kind of upgraded the keyboard, so you get this new improved keyboard that hopefully won't break as fast, because I have a few keys that kind of broke on my 2015 model and I heard that with this model they have a better keyboard installed and I can kind of feel it it feels like it's way better in quality uh, and then some other things well the, the trackpad is way bigger than on my 2015 model which I love also uh, I love how you still have a headphone jack on it it does really really great three and a half millimeter headphone jack then you have uh, four uh, I think Thunderbolt ports. So I think with the charging cable, it's very interesting. You can plug it in on either side, I guess, which is very cool. Or you can plug it in into four Thunderbolt ports, which is kind of nice. And I also think it has is the same cable as uh, I'm charging my uh, my Galaxy my Galaxy S20 Ultra with the USB Type C. So maybe USB Type C and Thunderbolt is the same thing. And I remember when I plugged in my <laughs> my Galaxy S10. Uh, into my early 2015 MacBook Pro and I can use it as a as a computer my, I can use my phone as a computer on my MacBook Pro so I guess I can do that the same thing uh, with this new model I haven't tried it yet but that is pretty gangster with Samsung's DeX feature so I love this um, this aspect that it's easier to connect e different devices to each other than it was a couple of years ago uh, I haven't tried the video editing function but Oh yeah, I, I love the, um, I just love the screen, like the screen, 16 inch, it looks, it looks really, really good. And the frame is also a little bit slimmer uh, than what I had on my, than uh, on my 2015 model. So a lot of things are pretty similar, like in the UI experience and everything, just because Apple is all about quality. I mean... The user experience, the UI, is very, 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 very identical, uh, especially all the apps and everything. And this is something that Apple has been working on a long time, that the experience should kind of feel the same, uh, even if you're running <laughs> like an older MacBook Pro, the, desk, the user interface is not like a Windows computer where many things can change uh, between different editions. Here it's quite, kind of the same, right? But it's just a, it's a little bit more clean. It's a little bit more slimmed down. Uh, it's, it's a little bit more smooth. I also think the battery also is bigger, which is also one of those kind of cool things. 
Uh, another cool thing is I can play 4K videos on this computer. So I couldn't play even 2K videos on my on my 2015 MacBook Pro, but I can play 4K videos with this one, uh, which is uh, pretty, pretty epic. And it, it's kind of nice, this computer for workflow. Uh, it's just gonna, it, it just feels more smooth when I open up DTube, browse a few pages, go to Twitter or some other pages. It just feels good. Like it just feels really, really like a good experience. Uh, I love the um, so one feature that I use a lot in uh, in especially the MacBook Pros. Uh, one feature or one thing I do a lot is I zoom in and out a lot uh, using the touchpad, and that is something that I notice also works pretty pretty great with this new MacBook Pro. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just overall a great experience. And uh, it's also nice, yeah, with this like four gigabyte, um, four gigabyte graphics uh, that you get inside, that also means that you can really go all into Final Cut Pro. If you're really like into editing video, it should really be it should really be some epic performance coming out of that. So that is also something that is, is going to be very, very fun to maybe try out a little bit. So yeah, I'm, I'm super happy about this computer. And you can feel, kind of feel with <laughs> this computer alongside with the S20 Ultra. And even when I upgraded to my S10 Plus uh, last year, you can really feel that we're starting to reach into a period of uh, an abundance of computing. They would say that eventually everyone's going to have all the computing needs that they that they need, and uh, and it's, it's it's just it's just great, right? Because a lot of the stuff that you must do on a daily basis uh, is a lot about computing. Uh, so when everyone gets a super powerful computer and a, and a super powerful like smartphone, and they have done all their computing needs, they can basically have more free time over, right? And and in life, and that that is that is super super cool. So. Yeah, we're really getting close to like, I feel kind of peak computing um, where we can eventually just let the machines do a lot of those th tasks that, we, that we've been forced to do manually for such a long time. Now soon eventually machines can fully, fully take that over so humans no longer have to do so many manual tasks because there's so many, there's so many tasks that I do on my smartphone that I wish I could outsource. Uh, or that, that I can set up some kind of um, some kind of bot or some kind of automa automated system to just handle that because a lot of the stuff is just very very repetitive. And one of the reasons why it's been taking so long to like co connecting kind of different devices to each other and be able to cross communicate is because we we haven't had everything to be like fully open source and everything. And and uh, with the tokenization of things it's trying to move it more to open source so more and more people can improve on something and kind of kind of experiment to see if they can make uh, make something better make a better product uh, when more people have access to computing power there are more people that can try new things that wasn't possible before because they did they just did not have the computing power so I think that you're gonna see that more people kind of uh, adjust how their their digital behavior what they're doing uh, depending on uh, the amount of access to computing power that they have and that's going to be very very cool to see of course so yeah i'm i'm super super hyped up about this computer uh, i don't think ever i'm going to go back to windows computers mainly because there's always some some things that kind of breaks or stops working my experience with windows computers while it's extremely rare uh, especially in the software software side it's almost like never that something like truly fails on a, on a mac <laughs> which uh, is something that's kind of nice because you don't have to do so much like um, problem solving uh, i don't like the idea of having to problem solve with a computer it, it should just work right and uh, it's kind of cool also now with the, all these powerful graphics that you can really now also, if you want to, game on a Mac fairly easy. I mean, four gigabyte graphics, 
you can probably play most games, you know. And this is also on a laptop, should remember. So yeah, the, so yeah, I mean, first impressions, amazing. MacBook Pro 16 inch. It's, it's just nice, you know. So yeah, that's what I want to talk a little bit about today. Have a great day, DTube and Steam Blockchain. Bye-bye.